Mount Pleasant produced another dominant performance on Sunday to stretch their 100% win record to four in the Jamaica Premier League at the UWI JFF Captain Harris Burrell Centre of Excellence. Four first half goals saw the St. Anne team to a 4 0 hammering of newly promoted Montego Bay United. Daniel Green started the show, opening the floodgates after just 12 minutes and then turned provider on two occasions. Green made his way into the penalty area and unleashed a curling right footer to claim his third goal of the season. On minute 22, Sully McCalla doubled the lead when he converted a cross from the left side from Green. Donovan Sigrid was on 35 minutes with Green again providing the assist, made it 3-0 with his second goal in a Mount Pleasant shirt. The Wally Downs conditioned boys were now on the rampage and just before the interval, Cleon Price placed his name on the Mount Pleasant goal scores chart with the easiest of efforts on a cross from Alway and Harvey to secure goal number four, which turned out to be the final one of the match. Mount Pleasant moves up to maximum of 12 points but remains second on goal difference behind last year's beaten finalist Waterhouse who also scored their fourth straight victory on Sunday with a similar 4-0 win over Portmore United. Green, who had an outstanding game, was named the man of the match. I feel really good receiving it because it's one of the achievements we work for every game to get the man of the match, go out there, work hard, help the team as much as possible. Yes, that first goal means a lot because that goal was scored because I practiced that really well in training daily and to see it come out in game, yes, I feel really grateful for that. can expect more goals from Daniel Green going forward and more, a lot of more focus and work hard daily and helping my team as much as possible. Yes, I think we take the foot off their show. We think we lay back a lot in the second half and get too comfortable. That's how we didn't execute any more goals. That's Daniel Green. Here now is coach Wally Downs. Yeah, very pleased with the performance. Um, we've been looking at our tapes as a group for the last week and we felt that in a couple of games we haven't started fast enough and made the opposition defend. And there's been opportunities for the other teams to be scoring before we've been up their end to have a chance. So we certainly worked on having a fast start today and, and making um, Montego Bay defend before we had to defend. And I think you can say from the way the, the first half went, we was on the front foot and we were very aggressive in the way we attacked. No, it, it, it's very difficult to... Um, to motivate a team that, the, that score at half-time because as much as you can say to them this game is intense and you need to go out and you need to make sure the victory at 4-0 you know it's probably over but you have to make sure that the team concentrates and doesn't give goals away you cannot have them showboating or overly relaxed of course you want to get more goals but the professional pride of the other team, Montego Bay, were going, they were going to come out and they were going to battle hard. Um, no two halves of football are ever the same, so you know you look at it, and from my point of view, I'll take the positives that we managed to keep a clean sheet, and we got some youngsters out onto the pitch. So, of course, we would have loved to have won the second half, we would have loved to score more goals, but being 4-0 up at half-time and winning 4-0 isn't the biggest problem I've ever had in football. Uh, well, we've got a hard week ahead of us to prepare against Dunby Holden. I've, I've been very impressed with their team. I like the way they play. They've got some good players and it'll be a good test for us. So this game we'll, we'll look at and see what we can learn from it. But we'll put that to bed and we'll be preparing for a very tough fixture next week. Coach Wally Downs. Mount Pleasant will be back in action on Sunday when they face St. Catherine team Dunby Holden, a team they have beaten on the two occasions they have met so far.